This is absolutely at the forefront. And if I'm gonna brag a little bit, I'll say that we, we tested, we prepared in, in such a disciplined manner uh, that we were able to pull this off. And there have not been many experiences out there with this amount of angles and, and this amount of precision. It's a, it's a pioneer project, which I think is one of the responsibilities that the Royal Swedish Opera has as a national stage for opera and ballet. We should always push further what we can do, that we use technology to reach new audiences. It is for everyone, it is everyone's rights to take part of the arts. For us, this is enriching, you know, to be part of development of, of techniques, not to be 10 years behind new ideas, but actually be in front and in the start and the beginning of something. The strength of seeing dance in the VR format is that you can get a physical sense of presence that you're really there with the dancers. You actually see their faces, their muscles. You see the sweat dripping off their, off, off their foreheads. And I must say that I was so impressed about the ability and the curiosity of the dancers to be part of this project. So they were totally behind and they gave the most of them. We had to stay focused on from the very first moment because there's a lot of, to be together, we were 13 on stage, to be together and to, 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 to breathe as one, to move as one, you know, as a group, because it was like an organism, you know? It just, kind of, it's, it just kind of reacted and moved all together. They'll be able to be in the middle of that, and it's such a strong feeling with the atmosphere and the people around. It's, it's, it's very incredible. We took it a step further and took what we know to do, and we planned for months and months and months, and every angle, every inch away from from where the dancers were. Uh, if, if only uh, all the shows could be like that, I mean, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome.